Amen. Praise the Lord. New Horizons Church family and friends. This is Pastor Wiggins, and I greet you in the matchless name of our resurrected King, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And we declare that God is not dead, but he is alive forevermore. And I'm praying that you'll experience God's peace and God's presence today, particularly as we pray through the Psalms. We're going to be praying through the Psalms as we do for 30 days straight. This is day number six, day number six, and we're praying from Psalm 3, verse 6 through 8, Psalm 3, verse 6 through 8, from the New King James Version of God's Word. Here's what the Word says. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people who have set themselves against me all around. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for you have struck all my enemies on the cheekbone. You have broken the teeth of the ungodly. Salvation belongs to the Lord. Your blessing is upon your people. Amen. That was Psalm number three, verse six through eight. And as we pray God's word back to him today, I hope you're encouraged just by reading the psalm. Hope you have faith. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word. And today we're going to ask God to develop our courage in the face of our enemies. We don't always need God to remove our enemies. Sometimes we need to just develop the faith to face our enemies in the situations we're in. We're going to ask God to destroy the weapons of our enemies, to destroy the weapons of our enemies. And we're going to ask God to deliver us from our enemies, to deliver us from our enemies. And then fourthly and finally, we're going to ask God to bless us despite our enemies. We have enemies, but God has a way of giving us the victory, even in the face of them. Come on, let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we love you and honor you and bless you and praise you. We glorify you, God. We lift you up and we magnify your name. God, we say you are great and greatly to be praised. Lord God, we love you and we honor you today. And we lift up our voices to you and we declare that you are worthy of our praise. And Lord God, we ask that you search our life and our lifestyles. And if there's anything that is not like you, oh God, we ask you to forgive us and to purify us of all unrighteousness. And Lord, even as we're praying to you now, even as we receive your forgiveness now, God, we understand that we fight not against flesh and blood, but against spiritual principalities and spiritual wickedness in high places. God, we know that we have a common enemy, Satan, our accuser, the devil. We know, God, he's not pleased even with our prayer time before you. Lord, we know that there are enemies on every side. But we pray today, Lord God, that you would develop in us the courage to stand strong before our enemies. Lord, help us to put on the whole armor of God, that we might be able to stand against the wiles of the enemy, And after we've done all that we know to do and are able to do, we will still be found standing upon your word. Help us to stand with courage in the face of our enemies. Help our young people to stand with courage in the face of things that try them. And help our children to understand that they're uh, more than conquerors through you, O God, who love them. Help men and women, boys and girls, stand strong in the face of enemies in their work pursuits, their career pursuits, in their educational pursuits, in their ministry pursuits today, God. Then, Lord God, we know that our enemies have weapons that have been formed against us. But you told us that there is no weapon that's formed against us that will be able to prosper. So we pray, God, you would destroy the weapons of the warfare of our enemies the thing that the enemy uses to bring us down and to discourage us and to to cause us to want to give up and to quit in the fight, God. Destroy those weapons that are used and are targeted toward your people. Tear down lies. Tear down deception. Tear down uh, uh, gossip and backbiting. Tear down adultery and and fornication. Tear down addictions, O God. Tear down uh, other harmful strategies that the enemy tries to put in place to harm your people, Lord. Disarm the enemy. Destroy the enemy's weapons right now in the name of Jesus. And then, Lord God, we pray that you would not only develop our courage and destroy the enemy's weapons, but, Lord, you would deliver us from our enemies. 
Lord God, provide a way of escape. You told us in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13, that there is no temptation that has seized us except that which is common to man. And you said that when we are tempted, you would provide a way of escape. Lord, deliver us from the temptation that the enemy puts before us. Deliver us from his weapons, Lord. Provide a way of escape that we might be free because you said whom the Son has set free is free indeed. So we receive your deliverance today. We take the exit today. We take the opportunity, Lord, to flee from the enemy's traps and the enemy's plans. And we walk in the newness of life. Thank you, O God, for deliverance from the enemy's traps. And then, Lord God, we ask you to bless us despite our enemies. Lord, prepare a table before us in the presence of those who don't want us to have what you have designed for us. Lord, bless us in the presence of our enemies. Let us shout with joy and give praise and glory under your name. Despite the fact that our enemies are all around about, Lord, let them not keep us from giving you praise. Help us to not be weary in well-doing, recognizing we shall reap if we faint not. God, help us to praise you and to glorify you and to magnify you even in the face of our enemies, even in the face of people who don't want us to do well, even in the face of demonic and spiritual wickedness in high places, God. We declare victory in the lives of your people. In Jesus' name, we pray. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we believe it's already done. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Listen, we've been praying as we continue our prayer through the psalm. We pray today from Psalm 3. Verse 6 to 8, I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people who have set themselves against me all around. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for you have struck all my enemies on the cheekbone. You have broken the teeth of the ungodly. Salvation belongs to the Lord. Your blessing is upon your people. Listen, I want you to go in the blessing of the Lord today. We love you. We'll be back tomorrow to pray with you and to pray for you. Be victorious. God bless.